Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be talking about the Pitt Amplifier. I've been wanting to do this video for a long time, but it's just that I need to be constantly testing to ensure that this is actually going to work, right? And this is a very, very difficult amp to build for, right? And not only is it really hard to path all the hus in order in this little corner over here in this pathing, but it's really hard to do the proper layering. Right, and the complexity of it is really, really confusing. Right, really confusing. That's um, I really want to take my time with this video to show you exactly how would you build the layering. Right, I'm gonna break off the block off into four different sections. Right, the four different sections and go over them very carefully. Right, and of course there's gonna be the tunneling. Right, which is gonna be, uh, that should be cakewalk. Right, the block off is the real complex uh bit over here. <coughs> now, why this builds uh, is so difficult is how sp how diverse the spawn is right there's a spawn over here spawn over here spawn over here all the way up to this very north location over here right and normally for a lot of builds there's usually some sort of uh, filler or like some sort of uh, bottleneck that this hus are can that can't be forced to path anymore from right and but this particular amplifier has no bottleneck right there is literally if they spawn over here then your limit is well they got a path how many tiles one two so one two three four five six seven eight nine so nine tiles south and then one tile up right so one tile up so it's like maybe 9.5 tiles so they got to travel 9.5 tiles away from their location to your pathway right which is mind-boggling right it is crazy and so the amount of layers that's required, 9.5 times that by 3, which is 28.5, and then plus 1, that is 29.5. So it's like almost 30 layers, right? I'm able to reduce that down, probably down to between 25 to 27 because of my diagonal pathing. But even so, this is a ridiculous amount of layering. It is ridiculous. <clears throat> so, um... And why I was able to get this to work, right? And I can have confidence and say that it works is because I forced the Smasher North by using RPG, right? I used the bazooka or whatever, right? And I launched them north to see if they would break the wall, right? They didn't break the wall. I launched them north again. Would they break the wall, right? So you got to keep testing that and be like, they're really not going to break that wall. I think this is working, right? I really think this is working now, right? So that's pretty much how I concluded that this is going to be a proper working build, right? And then you test, and then you do some runs to be like, yeah, okay, I'm, yeah, I think this is ready. So with that in mind, I'm going to go right into it, right? And the tunneling should be, uh, shouldn't be too hard, right? But please pay attention to the block off, all right? So over here, we're going to have wooden floor spike and wall launcher. Wall launcher, four times impact, single reload. You can also use a five times impact, right? All by all means, go for it. This is a wall launcher with two times impact, single reload, right? And then over here, wall launcher, five times impact. And then two times impact, single reload. Double reload, zero impact. Two times impact, single reload. Two times impact, single reload. Three times impact, double reload, right? So you can see I have a diverse uh, amount of wall launchers and floor launchers right but you can use whatever you got right as long as it's strong enough right and that's fine right the only reason why i'm using these different ones is because i want to have durability i know this is going to be attacked three times the usage of it's going to be pretty high in this area <coughs> so once we pass that we're going to be met by four half low walls right so these four half low walls are as shown over here and this is for these smashers right so they can be staggered down into here excuse me now we have three wall launchers over here all of them are three times impact and double reload right from here what we're going to do is that we're going to have a diagonal path all the way down so we have two over here two over here at the start and then three on the next side over here so they can dial a path all the way down here jump down here into the amplifier all right so let's go back up and from that location over here i'm going to do a little slant over like shown over here at a 45 like this, right? So this is part of the lobber shield, right? I actually do need a flinger shield over here and I'll explain shortly, right? So I'm gonna do a diagonal over here and then two from the side over here, two from up that, and then a little diagonal over here, right? This is all part of the lobber shield, okay? And from that, I'm gonna also have a lobber shield over here, 
right? Which is also going to assist with the floor launchers over here, right? I really, really want to have integration of lobber shields and floor launchers together, right? So that they're working. <coughs> so I don't have to spend so much structures. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is actually start at the very uh, last wall launcher over here. So I'm going to put a slant all around here, two slants at the start for over here, then 45 it over here, right? So two, slant, two slants at the start, then 45 it. Then from that 45, I'm going to do two up, right? And then two, and then three across from that 45, and then finish it off with the two, right? So I'm going to just do a little, uh, little kunai storm over here, so you can just see, right? So this is how the lobber shield looks like over here, right? Which is connecting to the wall launchers at the very end. All right. And then from there, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, go down from here, right? And this is also to act as part of the. Uh, a part of not only the lobber shield, right, but so I can also put the walls over here, right? I can put the walls over here, right? And these walls, what they're going to end up doing is that the when the husk gets launched on the wall, right, when they get launched on the wall, they drop down, but they have inertia to keep going south, right? They have the inertia to keep going south, so they're going to actually going to land over here, right? So that's why I have these walls over here, right? So these walls, what they're going to end up doing is that the husks are going to drop down here, then they're going to go right at the wall. They won't hit the wall because there's nothing, there's no reason to. <coughs> there's no pathing on their side. Right? But that's essentially what it's for. Right? It's just so that they don't get right into the lava. I actually don't want to kill them. Right? So, with that in mind, because they're not being killed, they're going to go path all the way around over here, all the way around over here, which are going to be some, in, in a sense, there's going to be less husks in your tunnel, right? Um, but the main reason why I'm doing this is because of this diagonal pathing. This diagonal pathing, the positive is that it, sh it makes the pathway shorter, therefore having less required block off for the rest of your tunnels, right? Which is good. I really love that. However, the bad side is that it actually lures the flingers to path over here way more. Right, so because the flingers are pretty much always going to be in the tunnel area over here, right? I need to have walls down here, and really make a system so that they don't get launched in lava. I really don't want flingers in lava. If flingers are in lava, then that could be deep, deep trouble, right? That could be real deep, deep doo doo you're going to be in, right? Because the flingers are not only going to do damage from their flinger shots, right? They're a lobber shots, right? So they can do damage, which can not only damage this lobber shield, but it can also damage the actual pathing over here, right? Which I've seen it happen. It could damage this pathing over here. Once the pathing's broken, then kaboom, right? And, and additional to that, right? If a larger husk, such as a laser boy and smasher, which can also survive in lava, right, they push the flinger out, they can push the flinger back into land, which then from land they can start flinging, which you don't want. And and yeah, so oh, oh, in the end, you don't want flingers in the lava, right? You really don't want them in the lava, right? So I have this system over here so that they don't get uh, they don't get launched in lava. They'll just walk all the way around back into the very beginning. Okay, or they get stuck here and there on, on walls, but you know, that's about it. Okay. Um, another thing to talk about over here is that I have these little walls over here. This is actually not for my uh, lava. This is not really for my pit over here. This is for the ridge, right? Because sometimes the ridge, the, the ridge, the assassin has want a path over here, right? And then they want a path on my pathway over here, then walk all the way up over here, and etc. right? So this is actually pretty important to have because of the ridge amplifier, right? So just have this wall launcher over here, and I have a wooden, f I have a wall spike with healing on it, but you can use whatever you want. So this is just like launch them over here on the north side, and then I have this over here, which is a double reloader, I think. A double reloader is zero impact, but you can use regular wall launcher, doesn't really matter, with the healing spike. And then this wall launcher will launch the husk into the geyser, which then they would just get stuck in the geyser, all right? <clears throat> so that's pretty much uh, what that's for, right? That's all it is. Now, uh, for the block off. <laughs> all right, so let's get into the block off. <coughs> Excuse me. There is a lava bomb shift, right? So I need to explain the lava bomb shift. But 
first let's put walls all around here so i'm going to leave this part open right the reason why i want to leave this part open right because i actually don't need this wall over here i actually don't need it so i'm just going to leave it open right so two walls in front like this well actually three walls like this right three walls like this and this one's going to be a half floor the half floor is going to keep distance away from the wall right and then right next to that you're going to have two walls over here right right in front of that right so two walls slants like this right so if you look at it from this you have three walls over here right half floor and then two walls over here with the slants connecting that right and then we're going to have this lava bomb shift so immediately over here you can see wall flat floor pyramid right so this is a block the pathway from this area over here which that is sufficient enough and then we're going to have these little diamond floors right so i'm going to show you the lava bomb shift on top right i'm going to show you directly on top so we're going to have diamond floors over here so four diamond floors over here and then switch the diamond floors around like this like this all the way across right and then diamond floor over here and then there, and then finally there's going to be a half floor over here so half floor down there and then last but not least we're going to have full flat floors over there right so this is the entire lava bomb shift over here without the uh the slants because the slants do shift the lava bomb so you have the half floor in the back over there with the diamond floors all surrounding that right so you can see i'm gonna just uh go come up here so you can see diamond floors all across over here right it's facing that way then we have the diamond floors facing the other way all across here so it's five over there four over here then three over here and then two flat floors over here right so these are going to be completely flat floors unedited <coughs> All right, and hopefully that doesn't actually break the lava bomb shifts because you're not supposed to put them on top. All right, so I'm going to destroy this. And then once you have that in mind, I'll move on. All right, now we're, once you have these ha these uh, edited floors and full floors, those two full floors over there, then we're going to move on to this slants, right? So the slants over here, you can also copy over here. Slants all the way around here. And then these pyramids are 45 towards the southwest, right? And slants all across like this, right? So I'm going to do it one more time over here just to make sure you got it all. All right. If you got that, then we should be able to move on. All right. Another thing to note here is that if you are on the north east side of the map or the north side of the map then the hus the assassin hus may want to attack this wall right so if they attack the wall then i have a sound wall just so that they're not constantly banging the wall because normally i wouldn't be on the north side right or the uh northeast side of the map right <coughs> but it's just in case if you are then this is just to prevent that from breaking the wall too quickly all right now let's get over here we have a uh, pyramid over here right uh, full sandwiches right so these full sandwiches over here there's going to be two full sandwiches over here and then two down here over here and then there's one right next to that right one right next to that now these diamond uh floors over here uh these are actually not part of the lava bomb shift but i'm using them from extra layering so in this case i'm actually using the diamond floors for extra layering one of the rare cases okay now from here, I'm gonna have flat floors over here. So two flat floors over here with the diamond with the diamonds on top, right? So diamonds on top with the flat floors, right? Over here, right next to that, I'm gonna be having two flat floors as shown over here, right? Surrounding that is gonna be walls all around, right? Except for this one, all right? So I'm gonna just kunai storm, all right? So you see the pyramids over there, two flat floors, and then the sandwiches all around that, right? Except for this wall, this wall is not really needed okay and if when you got that we should be able to move on now this is actually part of my ridge build right so i have a ridge build over here which uh is actually working out really good i need to just need to do a little bit more testing and i can also release that video right so this ridge is just for a uh, little kind of prison build in a sense right where all the husks get stuck down there and never come up and the reason why I'm just telling you this is because I have walls all around here, which actually could be part of the uh, block off, right? So if you don't have any of this on the ridge over here, then um, then maybe you need to have these walls over here. I'm not 100% certain on that part, all right? So I just want to let you know about that. <clears throat> Let's 
So once you pass that, we're going to have two walls over here, right? So two walls over here as shown, and then three walls all across like this. So I'm going to do, so that's the first part of the block off, right? I'm going to do one last overview, right? Just to make sure you got all that. All right. Once you do, then we can move on. <coughs> Excuse me. So the second part of this block off is going to be the ch this little thick part over here. And this is probably going to be the most difficult part of the block off, right? So I'm going to take my time with this and I'm actually going to rebuild it, right? Just to make sure that you, can, you guys can follow along. All right. So the first thing to note over here is that these are going to be full. There's going to be sandwiches over here, right? But they're going to be flat floors. We're using flat floors to cover it. Right? So there's going to be two over there, which is going to be full sandwiches four across over here which is going to be the uh, regular sandwiches and two over here right so if you got that over here then you should we should be able to continue right so these are probably the f the best place to start those two four then two all right <coughs> now from here i'm going to just uh, destroy all this all right I'm gonna destroy all this and we'll rebuild everything right so that you guys can follow along without being too confused All right, so I have destroyed everything down there, and then we are going to go back to building this, or I'm going to rebuild everything. So if you remember, we have the two, the four, and the two. All right. <coughs> so from here, what I'm going to do is that I am going to build five. I'm going to build the uh, five layers over here, as shown. All right. So I'm going to build the five layers as shown. I'm going to use this as arches. I'm going to edit them later, right? So if we see five over here like this, so there's like a two by two with the things sticking out, right? You can just copy that, right? Copy that, right? And then from down below over there, I'm also going to put another one, right? Another one just like that. Let me double check. Yep, I'm doing it right. Okay, cool. Just wanted to make sure. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure. All right. So once we have that, and we are going to build this over here, right? So right next to the amp over here, I'm going to build three of these, right? So all these are going to have pyramids, right? And then they're going to have these walls over here. Right? The arches again are going to be walls, and we're going to edit them later. Okay, so I'm going to put walls all around here as well, all right? These need to be walls because they can drop down from here. So let me put walls all around here, just make sure I got all the walls down. All right, and then I'm going to fill this up with the pyramids. So that should be good on that floor. And over here, I'm going to fill this up with the pyramids and then make sure I have all the walls. I think that should be good. I don't need walls on here because this already blocks it off. Okay. <clears throat> now, from there, what I'm going to do is uh, at these corners, I'm going to place a p these corners over here. So this corner, this corner, right, and this final corner over here. All right, I don't need this one this corner over there and we should be good so we're gonna have extra boxes right so we're gonna so it's gonna start off with the two with the five right so two floors of those five uh, layers right five thick box layers and then down below that it's gonna be one thick box layer and then there's gonna be these two box layers with missing walls right and so if we have that we should be able to continue all right. Now you're gonna, you may need to pause the video several times and go back to act, right? But I think I've given you the steps in order to be able to replicate this. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade this all. So just to recap, if you've been following along, we are going to have these two sandwich, full sandwiches over here, right? The four sandwiches on top over here with the flat floors, and then the four, two sandwiches over here with the flat floors. Okay. And right below that, right, right below that, 
we're gonna have these box there's gonna have these box areas right so there's gonna be four across from here right so as you can see there's gonna be four across and then from there it's gonna be three across right so four across from there then it's gonna be three across like that and right in between the three there's gonna be one sticking out okay right below that there is going to be three across over there, right, all the way to the end, and then two across from there, right? These are all full boxed around. And then from here, there's right in the corner over here, right, there's going to be one full box around, and then there's going to be these ones with the uh, missing, with two missing walls on each side, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close it up. So to close it up, the best way to do it is to do it from within so you don't miss a wall, right? So you don't miss a wall. I'm going to do it within. I'm going to take my route south. So like this. All right, as shown over here. Make sure you do not miss any possible wall, right? As shown over here. So as you can see, I can close that. I can close that. All the walls are closed. I can close that. I can close that. And there we go. I can close that. So with this route I just took, I was able to close all the walls over here. All right, all the walls inside would be closed. And it's very important to have all those walls closed too. So I'm gonna start within the innermost side, right? And I'm work, work my way snake round. So close this wall, close this wall, go inside here. Oh, I forgot to upgrade that one. Let's close this wall, close this wall, close this wall, all right, all around. And then go inside here, close this wall. There we go. And that should be the final wall in that area. Finally, we have the bottom area. So close the walls all around and over here. And then there's just two more walls to close. All right. So this is the block off in this area, right? And you should. If you've been following along, perhaps even pausing the video here and there, you should have fully replicated this, all right? This is the best I can do to help you guys to replicate this, all right? This is the best I can do, okay? So once you have done this, you have successfully did the hardest part of this block off, right? And the rest of this should be easy. Well, I wouldn't say easy, but it should be a lot easier, all right? <coughs> Excuse me. Now let's go to the second part of the block off, all right? So the second part of the block off is going to be the giant middle section over here. So you can see the giant, giant middle section. So I'm just going to do a little overview. All right? So this giant middle section is very important to have as well. So they prevent the hus from going in through the middle. All right? So from the middle over here, as you can see, I'm going to put flat floors all around here, three flat floors with pyramids on top, right? I'm going to have pyramids on top. Whoops, I didn't mean to super... There we go. Pyramids on top. <coughs> and then I'm going to have walls all surrounding that. So I'm going to have walls all surrounding the pyramids, right? Once I have that, and then over here, there's going to be a little, uh, little curve over here, a little pyramid. We're just going to all face the northwest over here, right? So everything be so everything in this line over here. So I'm just going to draw a line. I'm going to draw that line. So everything, whoops. So everything that is south of this, right? It's going to be facing towards the northwest, right? So all these are going to be facing towards the northwest. So I think the best way to uh, show this is over here. So you can see all these pyramids, right? All these sandwiches, all gonna be facing that way, all right? If you have successfully replicated this, then you should be good to go, right? Including this spot over here, okay? And this one over here is gonna be facing that way. And this one's not facing that way, right? So th this particular spot, I cannot have it this way. The reason being is because this creates a land bridge from over here all the way up here, right? And I wanna avoid that land bridge. So once you have this area copied, right, then you can move on, right? This is going to be tons and tons of layers so that it prevents them from going down here or come from down into the south area over here, all right? This is a very, very important block off. It's very big. Now, 
for this middle block off over here. So this is to prevent the hus from wanting to break over into this wall over here, right? So to do that, I have a sandwich over here, right, with a wall over here. So there's a wall and the sandwich over here. So this sh should be enough on top over here. And on the bottom, right, so there is block off for this area over here as well, right? I actually may think about putting some broadsides in here, you know, just to make sure they don't break. Just to make sure if there's a phaser sometimes, but... <coughs> But yeah, there is block off over here, right? So there's a slant over here, right? Which will not create a land bridge because there's noth nothing pathing on this side over here, right? And then wall over here. And there's going to be sandwiches all surrounding that. So as you can see, there's going to be sandwich over here, 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 and here, right? All t facing the uh, southwest, right? There are no edit floor edits inside. Their there floor edits are unnecessary. Once you drop down over here, there is going to be three... Uh, Three more uh, sandwiches. Well, actually four, right? But I didn't need the wall over here, so do not place a wall over here, right? Very important. So we have the full sandwich in this area. Sandwich over here. Sandwich over here. These are all just to make sure that they don't uh, path. They don't path over here, right? They don't path towards the amplifier from this uh, shortcut. So we have it like so on over here, and we should be good to go. All right. So once you have that, then you should have the sufficient amount of block off for this area over here. Whoops. For this area over here so that they won't break this uh, wall, right? So that's the most important thing is to make sure they don't break this wall. And this is, should be the sufficient amount of layers. One thing to note about this one over here is that this is floating, right? So there's a flat floor over here, right? Just to, uh, just to ensure that if you're unsure what that is for. All right. Now. Um, there is going to be block off for the actual tunnel itself, right? So sometimes the husk will want to break on this floor, want to break on the wall, one of these, right? To, to create a shortcut, right? So we have block off for that, right? Uh, let me get up there. Whoops. Oh, that didn't work. Uh, all right, I'm derping. Okay. So we have walls all around here. So on this little ledge over here, I'm going to put walls all surrounding this. On the drop off over here, I'm going to put walls surrounding this. And that should be sufficient, right? That should be sufficient. And that is the final part of the block off, right? So this, just a tunnel block off in general, right? And once you have that, you should be good to go with the block offs, right? The actual amplifier build itself is just walls all around. So I just have walls all surrounding it, and that is sufficient. Right? That is sufficient. Um, one thing I want to go back to, uh, this is actually very critical, is that to make sure you don't have a wall over here. <coughs> For some reason, when you have a wall over here, this entire block off seems to connect to the amplifier. And I don't know why. Right? Seems to seems really weird. It makes all the AI really wonky as a result. So make sure you don't have the wall over there. Um, but yeah, that is overall the pit build, right? This is a highly complex build, right? But if you guys were able to replicate it, props to you, because that is a very difficult build, right? This is a very difficult build to do, right? But yeah, uh, it took a long time, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video, right? And have fun building.